see if there's I'll buffering. Have a Steps heart. on the case board, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. How does it sound? Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. Good. What Good. the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. We were attacked by. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. Volcano this was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Yeah, if anyone can solve the case, it's Max Payne. Is this the work of a cult? What happened? Well, we know that it's a cult. Cult of the tree. These pages are right before things got crazy. Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Sheriff hmm. Breaker. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. Okay, we know it's the cult. The victim cult of, of a tree. ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Mm -hmm. Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Mm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. I've been looking forward to playing this game so much. So I think... There's one of the pages on the floor. Nice, we're going to pick that up, Max Payne, no worries. But what I'm saying is, it looks like our issue was with Streamlabs and not with the game itself so we saved us a lot of money huzzah We're saga was back at cauldron lake saga had to pursue nightingale into the overlap finding a way in would be difficult a ritual saga would learn how stop the monster sounds good you can read your Collected manuscripts, pages in the mind palace. Place, mind place. It's for all intents and purposes a mind palace. Too much Sherlock for me. Let's see if there's anything on the ground, anything shiny. No. Ooh, gory bits. So, um, the original Alan Wake was T for teen, but it seems like Alan Wake 2 is rated M. Which. I'm not complaining. What do we got here? We got pills. Pills here. Left for Dead reference. Can't be opened on this side. Can't be opened on this side. No, no worries. We'll go somewhere else. Now let me know if there's any stuttering. If the audio is good throughout the stream because I want to give you guys a decent product. And stuttering is not my kind of good time. Okay, I heard. Ooh, is she going to come back to life and scare me? No. Can we at least look at... No, nope. Okay. Alright, she's just a body. We're just... Mm, this open? I can't get through this. Okay. That answered my question. No problem. Cause of maintenance and pro... I guess we're not going through there. No worries. We're going to run because she kind of walks slow. Okay. What are we? Oh. Um, you wanted us to add to the case. Why didn't you just say that? Alex Casey lunchbox. What's the clue? The booker described multiple attackers wearing deer masks, chanting and tearing into the guy with knives. That kind of sounds suspicious. Think. Put that up. Where are we going to put that? Killer profile? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> no, that that is that would be a killer profile. The booker described multiple attackers. That's the profile. Right? Yeet. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, mm. not a lone serial killer. True. That would make sense. Ca case closed. <laughs> Very good detective work, Saga. All right, I think we're free to roam, right? Come on, Casey. Tell me what I need to do. 
I guess this is our home now. A morgue. Alright, can we leave? No, we can't. Okay. I can't force it open. You can't force it open. Not a problem. Anything over here? Okay. Max pain. Where, where do I go? I know. Something I'm missing. Figure out where Nightingale will. I'm trying. Saga, Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Uh huh. He was there too. Nightingale was, but wasn't to taken a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach, where some other strange reality, the dark place, merged with ours. This place in the dark place, a tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult, required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. There's a lot of fragments in that writing. But I think it's for suspense. All right, did we figure it out? Can we can we leave this morgue, or are we going to get embalmed? Can I mind palace again? Okay, not a problem. Oh. Uh, Locked. Uh huh. We're here. Okay, very good. No. That advertisement's not gonna help us. We know the goal, okay, my dude? It may be profiling. That's profile. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale, gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page. The first page that they had found. Not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths. Secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words... These words felt like a message. Was a message. Someone knew they were here. What they were doing. Okay. Someone playing a game with them. Leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them. Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Okay, listen, Alan. Can you be a little more descriptive? Because I'm in a morgue. And they're not letting me out, man. Till I figure out what you want me to do. Is there a door I'm missing? She's a great detective. Oh, well, she's probably a great detective, but I'm... Yeah, when, well, we know. Oh, so he used the doorway. Uh, that's cool. Tell me. Help. Out of 
what bar. I swear to God, if I am putting more stuff on the case board. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Are you kidding me? Casey, the cult of the tree is performing... The cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Cultists wear masks. And... Victim of cult, killer became a monster. What kind of cult? No. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Who's involved? Well, yeah. Is there a third option? One, two... What's up here? What kind of cult? Who's involved? And... Cult goal. I guess who's involved. That doesn't make sense, but... You know, this isn't L.A. Noir. This is the <sighs> B plot. Now. Victim became cult. Uh, yeah, monster. Okay. Antlers. What kind of cult? Monster cult? Okay. Cults like a psychology. If they're hiding their faces, they aren't established enough to operate openly. Connect it to Deerfest. Alright. Mm-hmm. So the the cult with the triangle symbol <coughs> would be the psycho No it wouldn't. Okay. What kind of cult? Cult symbols. Should be a subtle indicator of membership, but this is instead of a badge of pride. Well it's Norse. I mean it's very Norse inspired. Furry cult. Good thinking. That uh, that that could be true. Doesn't that look like a Vagnat? A Vagnat. It looks Norse. Okay. One more. Victim of cult became a monster. Well, well that's not cult psychology, and that's not a symbol. Casey, cult of the tree. The cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters, right? So, the goal. Cult ritual, what is it? I don't have an explanation for this, how they are doing this. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Me too, Casey. That's the first thing. Victim body organs covered in writing. Page found inside <laughs> chest. No, 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 that's not cold psychology. Ritual, what is it? Is that the ritual? Writing part of ritual. No, it's not. Text tattooed on the victim. Manuscript page found inside. Writing has significance here. Okay. Yes. To make a monster. That is... Yeah, victim... Writing part of cult. No. Nanningill was the only victim to become a monster. So far. Hmm. Uh-huh. Who is involved? No, well, Nightingale's involved, isn't he? We'll keep these for now. Okay. My, okay, my dudes. We're getting there. Cult goal. Victim. No. Well. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it in my own eyes. Need to dig into this. There must be an explanation. There must be. But we're having a hard time with this red tape to start with. Nightingale was the only victim to become a monster. <sighs> yeah. It's not the. I wasn't doing. She's sighing at me because she thinks I'm an idiot. Cult ritual, what is it? Is the... Cult ritual. What is it? Then get only victim become a monster. Why? I don't know. That's a good question, my dudes. Thank you, Saga. Murder. He did a dead man turned into a monster. Very Light good. as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. Mm -hmm. There's no rational explanation. But there is. 
This is the case we must solve. You're going crazy. Not really. Where did Nightingale go? Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way would be difficult. Saga was at Cauldron Lake. Don't sigh at me. I'm taking my time. Bad shrooms. That is also a valid <laughs> option. And where did he go? I guess to the overlap. They aren't making sense. Yes. That is something we agree on, Saga. And the Alex Casey lunchbox. Maybe we can leave the morgue. Alex Casey lunchbox. Yep. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Hmm. Another message? Fair. Four later. Okay. Lunchbox found by the FBC. Is that like the FBI for... I guess. All right. Monitoring station at Cauldron Lake. <sighs> Nothing makes any sense. No, it doesn't. It's a supernatural game that is part detective noir now, which is cool. I'm going to be... What kind of sandwich? Let's see. Well, they don't say... I'm going to guess PB and J because those are the bomb. Bright fall area. Cauldron Lake area. Huzzah! The red tape... The red... I, I get the importance of it, but it doesn't really make sense what she's pinning. Okay? That This is... That's the confusing part. Once we get to the boogaboo, I think I'm going to be a lot faster. Goal. Did we figure out all the cases? Can we leave? Fingers crossed, my guy. Oh, oh my god. We knew that we had to go to Cauldron Lake. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. On toast? That would be great. Calls him a taken. taken. We need to head over there. Stop him. Before anyone else gets hurt. He's tired of okay. her shit, too. The eyes. My god, we just sat here in a morgue for the last 15 minutes while you're in your mind place. Come on, we know we have to go to Cauldron Lake. It says on the paper. Oh, oh we, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Uh, did you get spooked by the bodies? Mm -hmm. Sheriff Breaker yep. disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get yep. back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. We'll Damn do shit. what we can, man. Just don't step in the blood, my dudes. Okay, so we well, got the okay to leave more. Right, Thornton. Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. I don't know, guys. But you guys are playing small town cops, ain't you? It's certainly a take on mm -hmm. small town America, pair. huh? This doesn't like sell me on it being Washington, you guys. My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. <sighs> this is exactly like work. All right. On to Cauldron Lake. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Well, the interesting is thing is... Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. Okay, we're going to ignore him for a sec. The, the important thing is this is Think we'll horror. actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. Oh, are you walking it's to Cauldron Lake? Lead. We're walking to Cauldron Lake. No? I thought we were going to get in the car. Okay. Then again, we're not cops. Mayor Setter won't roll over on the issues. Mayor Setter won't roll over on the issues. That's what I just said. I'm going to take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Mm. Is this openable? No, no, no. So yeah, this is survivor, uh, a survival horror. This is thriller, and kind of like if Stephen King made a video game. And Twin Peaks. 
you, you get the the subtle references, right? The vibe. That pole sure is interesting. Deerfest pole? What pole? Deerfest. I see a lot of Deerfest poles. Small town America, folks. Pole. 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 A lot of poles. Certainly is interesting. Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. I'm sure there's a lot that I missed, but... Ah, beautiful lake. Woman standing looking at the telephone pole. Oh, now I need to see this. Oh! That is kind of interesting. Oh, she's looking at the pole, too. I like her plaid. Back at the table. Oh, okay. Let's check out, let's stare at some pole. This is an M-rated game, after all. Oh, that is unique. Mayor won't roll. And the mayor still won't roll. What are you doing? Does it smell funny? Ah, oh, you're, you're taking in the graphics. Right. You have ray tracing on your version, don't you? That concludes our debate on whether pets should be allowed at this year's bake sale. What's in here? For those coming in, you're listening to the Pat Main Radio Hour. Brought cool. to you by Dave. We found a collectible. Most jerky. Thankfully, we found the pole lady, and that led us to a radio. We'll look at that later. I don't want to hold you guys up. Yeah, on bath salts. That's a good choice. What about crocodile? 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 Yeah, a hell of a drug. It's supposed to make your skin fall off. The car can be used to travel between locations. Oh my god, we're going to do great. Oh, wait, I can drive. and repeat. Clock ha! Back, get a beer. That will ruin your skin. I uh, need to come clean, Anderson. Okay. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. Do he was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. <laughs> Yeah, Quakening. I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. There's a ring to it. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. You can see then, the foreshadowing. Ten thing. years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. Oh. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined Inspired prophet. by True Detective. After that case, I started looking into Wake's Sorry, disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. <gasps> There's I a triangle. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Wow, there is a lot of foreshadowing. Uh, I still love this game. I love the setting. It's a little cheesy at times, but that's the appeal. The first game was cheesy. It was. I hope Barry returns. The heart. Cool. The no. page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. Okay. Point of interest, track objects and information that Saga has acquired. To chart collection progress. Okie dokie, my dudes. Great. This area is supposed to be close to the public. Not anymore. Quark, quark. Is there another map I can collect? No. No, there's not. 
And it's getting dark, so we're going to be chased by dead things. It's going to be cool. Ooh, nice bike. Who has a white van? What is in white van? Is there free camp? There it certainly is. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this? Or because they can see what's coming? Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. Improbable. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. That is gorgeous. To solve the case. Oh, gives me the option to close the door. That is gorgeous. The orange. I hope they give out Snickers, king size Snickers, or else I'm going to complain. Ah. And none of those Tootsie Pops. <laughs> well, actually, I like Tootsie Pops. But they're good. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What yeah. sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, <laughs> they don't. One that's good at advertising. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Oh. That tree looks cool. That shine, oh my god. Ooh, let's talk to the people. Maybe they'll give hey. us lore. Hello there. Hi. How are you folks doing? Those restricted areas. Good. Don't do a damn thing. Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? Yes. I'm Ilmo Koskela. <gasps> Fantastic to the meet you. The one from the commercial. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. I like him already. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, man. I'm authorized to be here. And cool. I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. Definitely. How's it going? You're definitely not a cult member. How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Ilmo. Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. They Just down the die. road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna de Vista. <laughs> and we de offer vista. a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. Ooh, you name it, we probably Swedish. got it. What is this machine? What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet ah! a family member made it. Oh, you are Nordic. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. I Watery. like it. My hometown was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. She's the Swede. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Okay, so I probably should have played control before this. However, I've been waiting for Alan Wake for a while, so we're gonna treat control like a prequel because apparently all the Remedy Universe games are supposed to fit in. And that dude that was a detective that uh, went missing, the small town cop, he looks or he's played by the same actor that's in Quantum Break. That's, I guess, will be important later. The, the Con Federal Bureau of Control is another game that Remedy made, and they're just kind of making it into one big universe, kind of think of Marvel, okay? That's what, that's all we need to know. Steven, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow <laughs> real big here with Damn teeth raccoons. like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. It's always the raccoons. That's all for now. Let's just forget about the Taken. Probably a raccoon, my dude. What's that say? What the hell is this? What'd you find there, Steven? Uh, nothing. Nights. Uh, oh, he's just in a something bike that shouldn't be here. Nice. 
A finish by Nice, nice. Huh. It's happening every day. I want to check what's in here. What's in here? Maintenance note. Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. Definitely raccoons. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. Yes. Raccoons don't have posable thumbs. So they either evolved or it's something else. I'll make a report for the investigation department. Leaving this here. Sorry. In case I'm not the next person to fix these things. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get it. It can't get to it anymore. Stephen Lynn, chief technician. Damn raccoons. Am I right? I have a bunch of raccoons. They're more nice than... Well, I don't have the raccoons. Is this the same lunchbox? Can we investigate it again? We're all in this together. Yep, it's the same one. Just checking, my dudes. We're here from the government and are here to help. Oh, no. That, that always leads to bad things. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. Well, that's subjective, isn't it? It doesn't always lead to bad things. Sometimes a lot of things about this case keep bothering me But one thing feels really off Breaker's disappearance. Okay. I Don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages mm -hmm. Something didn't want us to have them. Nope or was protecting him from Nightingale hmm. Spontaneous combustion. I don't know why <laughs> Not we'll the go kind with of that, disappearance man. we normally solve. I like his ideas because they could be just as accurate as the ones that will come from this game eventually. The the conclusion. Spontaneous combustion? Probably. Okay, it's a little dark here. I'm gonna look over here real quick. This map seems to be pretty big, and mods won't send my comment. It's not letting me. L was it? Was there like a heck or a hell in the thing? I'll make sure to work on that. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Oh, those bitchin' raccoons. Yeah. Nice talking to you, too. Yeah, they are bitchin' raccoons. And I don't think they wanted to talk. That's okay. They must not be people per people. People people. People persons. I mean, they're out here all in the woods alone. They probably don't want to be bothered. They're probably serial killers. You hear about Washington being like a huge uh, place for serial killing. It's like a hobby, apparently. Oh, bastards. Those bastard raccoons. I agree. Ooh, what's over here? Wonder what's inside. Confused, follow these steps. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Wash a locked hands. box. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Is that the cult of the take tree symbol on it? Yes. Is it code? Confused, follow these steps. Wash your hands. What well, looks like washing. Okay. Wash, wash. Okay, that looks like wash. Uh, take the chicken out of the fridge. Uh, uh, Any of these could be chicken, my friend. Pacific Northwest, big many place to dump bodies. Ask Uncle Ted. Oh, I remember Ted. Fine fellow. All right. Guess as good as mine. Uh, take a nap. Um. Um. That looks like a nap symbol. No. We'll get it. Do double triangles for nap. 
double triangle. They're they're all double. Okay, double triangle right there. My detective abilities will solve this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No. One, two, three. You know, mm, we'll revisit that. That makes a lick of sense. No lick of sense. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page what? did place him at Cauldron Lake uh, in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Probably Maybe get back something there. around here will tell us. Bare feet. Ba bare feet. Nightingale. Oh, no. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. If, but it was right there, my friend. Should I, you know, take a look? Because it seems like the great Alex Casey is not up for the job. Yes. Okay. We find Nightingale. Then After what? we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. Well, first do the monster. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. All about monsters, overlaps, rituals. What do you make of all of this? Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, Damn learn what this things. ritual is. Yeah, he's written so noiry. It's not even funny. Just like, damn those sickos. They're making us, like, think these things. And yeah. You know what? They probably, I should probably check the dumpster just in case. Alright. Nothing in the dumpster. Doesn't even give me that option, but yeah, that's a good idea because the FBI, FBI is not going to check the dumpster right next to a crime scene. Because why would you? You know? I think that's how most murderers get away with it. They don't check the dumpster. I'm kidding, of course. Leave no trash. We're gonna head towards the light uh, after I look at this dumpster. You know? Do the legwork for the investigation. Check the dumpster. What's in here? Uh oh. Spooky monster time? I'm into it. Oh, this lighting is superb. Spooky. Monday. Monday. Some special activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movements in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were comp compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. True. Nothing to report. Some animals, regular. They're regular. 9-5. Hunters out after dark. Poachers? Heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on these people. They could get more than they bargained for out there. True. True. Okay. That was informative. What? Oh my god. Hey, Casey. Is... 
Dirty. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the redo. A triangle. Reminds me of cases yes, you that do. I have maybe or maybe not have worked. The the ceiling is the reminder. You. Ooh. Poker. I guess we're collecting poker chips. They will help our investigation. Or maybe we might get bored in the mine place and we have to give something for Alex Casey to do. Ooh, there's the triangles. You see the triangles? They're over here by the beer. This seems like a hobby gone wrong instead of an actual cult. Like they started out as a poker club and then Ted got the amazing idea to do the human sacrifice in the woods to to help the writer who's stuck in the dark place and things got out of hand. Am I right? I mean, they're poker chips. That's that's my lead. Beer. Beer and poker. <laughs> it's a slippery slope, my friends. Poker, beer, and then sacrificing detectives for your tree cult. Because, just because. All right, let's go into the light. Ooh. So the boogeyman's gonna come out pretty soon. Better than the knitting circles, that is true. Yeah. Those, those, those women, they'll, 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 they'll tell tales, dark, they'll, yeah. Ooh, what we got here? Okay. I see a target and I shoot it, okay? Uh, how much ammo do I have? I probably should have asked. Flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. Ohio. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. The way he's given dialogue, doesn't it remind you of Will from Hannibal? Uh, for, yeah, uh, A lunchbox again. He hid the body. Who's leaving these out here? Oh my god. Manuscript fragments. Killed a fur. Yeah, Yidrisil definitely needs sacrifices. Yidrisil. Which is the giant tree. Uh, my dude, did I just go up a secret path? It's kind of hard finding where to go sometimes. Ooh, look up bodies hanging from trees. Where? That'd be cool. <coughs> Sorry, hiccup slash belch. I apologize. Did you see that? That that'd be kind of cool. Oh, like in Killing Eve? Is that what you mean? Okay, I guess that was where we pick up the collectibles. What? What's the goal? Track Nightingale, follow Nightingale's trail. They drip though. The bodies or the trees? Probably both. Especially if it's raining. Lantern. Very good. Uh, let's look. Cauldron Lake campgrounds and the witches later. Okay. So, yes. Now, like the old guy hung himself, no one noticed till he started Ew. Dripping ooze. Oozy drip. Hey, it's Devil's Night. Yeah. Alrighty-o. Let's check it. Did you find anything in the mud? That looking at Did that you footprint? know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. It's true. You got it. 
I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> okay, these characters are definitely out of the Stephen King book. Especially his newer works where he focuses on uh, detective fiction. Which I never really thought he would do, but he's actually really good at it. Okay, what's over here? Did I hear like uh like a uh... What did I Okay, so it's that way, so let's check what's up here first. We're gonna get ambushed. Yeah, the, I know the footprints are over there. I'm just. I heard something. <laughs> That's creepy. Let's go in there. Let's get the shit scared out of me. When the windows scare you, here live the witch of the Cauldron Lake. Beware her spirit may still haunt this place right in time for Halloween, my friends. We're gonna shit ourselves. What's in here? Oh dear Christ. That window's, that window's gonna give me a heart attack. There's something in here, right? The music's building. I know I'm not supposed to be up here. Ugh. So there's nothing in here? Okay. It's just a creepy house. Just creepy. Okay. Midge told me today her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't told her that I like to listen to point anymore. She said her parents want to get better job to get her to better school in big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in Bright Falls? I want to stay in Bright Falls. This is a great. So I told her. She said, thanks. Fucking kill. Mood! I've gotten that shit. I snuck out last night, went to the big house by the lake. Instead of just watching it from here like I always do, instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that! You're right, my dude. Anyway, something weird is going down there. I'm going to find out what. Going to go back there tomorrow we'll, with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened to you? It's a mystery. So hey, they went... Uh, Logan's birthday is coming up. <coughs> yeah. I, I need toy ideas. Toys. This kid? <laughs> She's no? 14, Casey. Her kid. Okay. Lunchbox. So, where do I get her? Get her a book. Something weird and dark. Maybe that'll get her back into reading. <gasps> like There's a another Stephen King lunchbox. Book. Weird and dark. Or if you're looking for good uh, book recommendations, I would definitely recommend a U series by uh, uh, Catherine Kebnis. Yeah, it is based on that, um, well, the book came first, but it was inspiration for the U Netflix series, it's really good. And the books are totally different from the, uh, series now. <coughs> the first book is similar, the second book is similar, but it goes off on its own. Alright. That detour, let's keep on going, alright? Sound good? Sounds good. So good. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? What is that noise? Ah! 
I can feel something. Shit! A presence. I'm good. A little early. Nightingale isn't far. Oh. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, I'm awake now. I know, right? I am very close to this screen. Oh boy. I hear it. Is it gonna come out of the water like the creature from the black one? And a little razzle dazzled here. Ooh. I guess we're going to jump scare a la Stephen King. Word. Which is ladle. Oh. It's not very nice. Poor woman had a ladle. His own mystery and called the lake being named after golden shape. Yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake it being in the doorway to the underworld or a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. Okay. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes, and Nightingale's gonna come out of the lake and fucking jump scare me, isn't it? Hey, I like the lore. We are learning so much. I didn't know that about the witch's ladle. What is that? What is that? Uh, that's what it I seems said. Seems like it's Jinx. reacting to the light. You owe me a coke. Not sponsored. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. No. They're headed into the tree, not let's, out of it. Let's go into the tree then. Okay, that didn't scare me. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. I was ready for it. It was covering another page. Where? That doesn't look like a page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. We're I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Oh, we're going... Okay. It just wasn't ready for me yet. We went into the witch's hut way too early, and there's gonna be something that comes out of the water and jump scares, isn't it? Isn't it? We're gonna run into the jump scare. Come on, spooky dookie. Where are you, Nightingale? Come on. I don't want to get jump scared on inhale here. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, this is the right atmosphere to freak me out, though. A tree got me. This is the witch's hut. We were here. Saga, don't you remember? Anderson. Thought Bump I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm going to check it out. Okay, I found another page. <gasps> Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. Early? The fuse box is missing a fuse. Okay. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Is it in there? In the window that gives me the creeps? The house? The page described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse. Okay. Walmart has fuses, <laughs> sure. Do you think there's a local Walmart in these woods somewhere? Probably. Come on, Alan. Don't make me... Make me search.
is the fuse by that table. Hmm? Me thinks it might be. Because it's not in there. Ah, you just didn't let me this pick it up earlier. Busted. Darn it. Huh? Dollar General in every half mile? Yeah, I suppose you're right, especially now. Uh, spooky. Uh, is there a fuse box in here? This one looks good. And People should really stop else. littering, though. There's something behind me. No? Ooh. Ooh. -ah. Okay, it's waiting for me to be in the cabin, am I right? Why would it be in the freaking lunch? I don't know. It's a theme of the story. A major theme that will be on the quiz. Because the drapes are never blue unless the author is having a mental breakdown. There always has to be reason, my dudes. And that's what I learned in English class. Fuse box spooky time. It is outside. Why would a fuse box be inside? To stay away from the elements of the weather. You know? Why why would it be why would there be a fuse box right here? I mean I, I guess the roof would protect it. Oh dear god. I'm gonna close the door. Why is the light hurting my eyes? Is that rotten food? Danishes? Those danishes would be bad by now, right? Quick save. Got some coffee. Should be inside. Yeah, it should be. We saved. Another and page. That wasn't there. Making before. progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. I don't think I should follow your advice, Mr. Wake. Witch's ladle. Towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her <sighs> definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Okay. <gasps> Goals. Track, interpret the page's meaning. All right, fine, fine. More of this red, red line shit. Red thread. Lunchbox found near in landslide. I don't know. Lunchbox found blah blah blah. It obviously makes sense to the game. The note inside mentions Alan. Alan Wake. What the hell are these? I guess pages from Alan Wake's novel? Um, brr, brr, brr. Lunchbox found near a landslide. At Cauldron Lake. You know I kind of needed to hear this. Thanks, Lunchbox writer. No problem. The overlap. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's over? Okay? over your head. That's Next not profile. Stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway. Leading to Nightingale. 
It's if, somehow connected to a tree, okay. which is ladle. Yeah, that's profiling. A Christmas Carol is the best detective fiction ever. Because he was, he, Scrooge was hearing voices too. Ghost voices. That's not profiling. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe profiling includes ghosts. All right, I guess we're going back out. Was there anything else? This mug always cheers me up. Okay, very, very good, Saga. Cheer up. Murder site. We're going back here. Okay. Sounds good. So we're done. Alright. I'll take your word for a game. Are you gonna scare me? Come on. Alright, we're going the right way because I hear the raccoons in the trash cans. Fuck. It's gonna be bad. What? Where are you? Alright, going back to Alex? Where is he? Wasn't he here? Where the fuck did he go? He was my ride! Hold, please. Is there more profiling? No, I don't want to hear the weather report. It's not really important. It's raining. It's Washington. You, he heard a deer? Okay. Circle. Right? Interpret the page's meaning. Okay, I guess that circle means nothing then. All right, we're gonna... Oh. Shouldn't spend time on old questions. <laughs> okay, thank feel like she's giving me sass here. Sorry it took so long. Just not a fan of the... Of this style of game. Large amount of supplies laid out on the table. Uh, triangle carving on table where he was found. No. Writing part of ritual? Ugh. She sounds so disgusted with me. That is writing, is it not? Who's involved? Cult psychology. Cult symbols. <laughs> there we go. This could be multiple things, my dudes. Large amount of supplies laid on a table. It's not a Doesn't symbol. Doesn't make sense. No, of course it's not a symbol. Cult psychology? Who's involved? Who's involved? A lot of people are involved, huh? Large amount of supplies laid out on a table. I need a hint. Cold ritual, what is it? Is it the... What is the cold ritual? No. Who's involved? God dang it. Dang it, Casey. Woohoo! Woohoo! Was it more like a woohoo? Like yay? Yeah. Alright. Let's go back to the witch's tit. Or girdle. Or huddle. And 
making noises again. I guess we'll find it. We're gonna stumble on where we need to go, okay? Yeah. Heard a deer, went for a beer. Damn it, my dude. Now I have to save his ass. Or maybe he's already dead. Huh. Answering your walkie-talkie, my dude. I'm assuming we'll eventually run into where we have to go. I hear trees rustling. I guess we're on the right path. You know... Not saying I want hand-holding, but it could be a little more descriptive of what it wants. Creepy. Going the right way? Gonna keep going up. Yeah, the phone booth wasn't really interactive. Oh, we're on the right path, right? I have Boom. to head back. Got things to do. Nope. We're on the wrong path. I went all the way up. No problem. We're gonna run. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, she's moaning because I'm making her run. You know, fictitious detectives don't get out a lot for running. Alright. in the general store. Freaky. A lot of creaking noises. Get there when we get there, my friends. It's... Mm. Okay. <laughs> it is a dark. It is a dark environment. Okay. Probably turn it brighter, huh? Hmm. I see. Let me guess. Did I get hit? 
I didn't get hit. Oh, that's how you take pills, my dude. Are you wiggling? Ooh, nice. Ooh, your face looks a little fucked. The good meth. Manuscript. Saga edged toward the broken door, her gun ready, flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The yeah. Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, okay. planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late night poker game. Saga oh, stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? Yes. There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist. Now you tell me. A hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. Did he say that? An axe in his raised hand. I guess I missed that when he lunged at me. Alright. More pills. I guess. It kind of takes a Resident Evil kind of ammo kind of dealio. What we got here? Grew bigger. No. Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. I'll take that. Ooh, thermostat. Is Casey all right? The solution has to be in here. Yeah, it's Fahrenheit 451. Oh, UI. Okay. That looked like the cover to Fahrenheit. Okay. Ray Bradbury. All right. What's the solution? The gun? No. The light never killed anyone. Don't forget update code. Yeah. 717-723. Lotto numbers. Alright. Free palm reading. Oh, yeah. 723. We're going to go with 723 first. It's not very inventive, is it? It's like the same beginning. 723, 713, 712, 7, I guess they changed it. Hmm. Oh, check with Fortuna. I got it. All right. 202 555 5, 5, 5, 0, 1, 3, 7. 7, 4, 5. What? 745? Or. Okay, let's check it out. Because there's a 7. Yeah, 745. 
Sets things on fire. These numbers match the ones on the lotto ticket. What? Hmm. I don't think this is relevant. What do you mean? Yeah, I, I know. I just don't know what numbers to put in. Seven four five one six seven one. Oh my god. Yeah. Something. No, I thought, uh, I thought it was going to tell me something. You need to go back in there to do X, Y, and Z. Hello? Alright. Let's make this easier, right? This door must remain unlocked during business hours. Okay. I'm so fucking confused. I don't know. The case board. Large amount of supply uh, case. Let's find the seven thirty nine. Okay. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. What is the ritual? Hmm. Mm hmm. 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 Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? She squinted to read the smudge. Uh huh. She squinted to read the smudge line on the heart. The second part recited, I brought you the. Oh. Is that the ritual? Seven. Two. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Okay. Give, recite words, which ladle sign, where is heart, words illegible. We'll find the heart after we unlo unlock that gun case, which we should be good now. All right. Three. Nine. There we go. Kinda, I guess, worth it. Probably. Got an achievement. I took took some time there. You can quick slot up in from inventory. Okay. Is there a heart in here? No, there's no heart. Why would there be a heart? Huh? Yeah. I got it. I got said shotgun. 
in the washing machine all right let's do some intuition hunting because I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap where is it the cultist leaned close he was there but he was risen Nightingale was there the opposite of sunspots who said that that's not it I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart there must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. I swear. Nightingale's to... heart is at the general store in a fridge. Did I check that three times? So I had to wait for her psychic powers. I need to check the general store for the heart. Where I was! Casey! I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into Where the overlap. Where are you, Casey? Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got to turn around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. <laughs> I'm, I'm the same. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's a mood. That's a mood. There it is. The text is. on the heart is clearer now. Legible. I think this fridge is unrefrigerated, huh? The wave crashed on the far side of the, the wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. All right, we're looking at clues again, because that's my favorite thing to do. Give me the spooky time, please. It's Halloween. The words on the heart are illegible now. Words on the heart. Which Sounds are... Sounds literary. But what does it mean? Alan Wake did it. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, which show me the terror. The wave crashed... Well, water is reflective, isn't it? The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. The far side of... I brought you the heart, which show me the terror. The heart is somewhere in the... Why do we need to know that? Did we already found it, my dude? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Mm -hmm. Get out of my house. I will. Get out of my house. He sounds a little constipated. Let's upgrade some weapons. Mm, we don't have enough to upgrade the weapons. Wah, wah. Okay, let's profile the psychic detective. Is there anything here? Well, how would I know? All right, we found the I heart. I feel like I recognize this. The Touch fridge. it with your bare hands. The heart. I knew it would be here, like I saw it in a dream. Mm -hmm. It's all those damn mushrooms. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. The lake. It makes total sense. Not even using my writer's brain, and it makes sense. It has to do with the water because that's the heart. the witch's ladle, so it's above. Because the ladle is like in the stomach area, right? So it'd be in the upper lake. All right, time to get spooky Casey, again. There are cultists in the area. Mm -hmm. They're taken, like okay. Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. I do too. <sighs> Any city in America, I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. 
I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. But I don't get lost. And Alex Casey is my fucking spirit animal. Because he's getting fucking lost. I'm getting lost. We're all getting fucking lost here, dudes. Beautiful game. Can play it longer if we get lost longer. See, there's the pro. Find the lady of the lake. I hear something. Did you hear that? Or is it just in my headphones? I think we're going the right way. Usually it makes weird noises. I see a shadow. You see that? Be very, very quiet. We're hunting rabbits. Oh my god! How do you like the knitting hero I had made it just... Thank you! That's so sweet! I love it! You guys appreciate the knitting? There's poker and knitting clubs? There is so much enrichment in this area. Bright Falls, my god! Oh, it's like they don't need a cult. Ooh, what's in here? UFOs. The ultimate guide to spotting on the flying objects. Hamuda would love this game. Writing this down in case it happens again and I forget. I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. after I finished my ama on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove chasing it. Starry night, not much moon, as expected. It let me pass Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would, it didn't. Not this time. Frustrated but relieved. I scanned the sky for the shapes, the objects, nothing. But when I blinked repeatedly, I think I saw the afterimage of an octa octahedron. I guess that's UFO. It, it faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me. Here, but not here. It's him. I know it's him. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. Huh. I don't think it's aliens, my dude. I think some ordinary gamer is in Bright Falls right now. Is this like a secret hidden area? Or am I... Yeah, I guess we're going this way. Get lost in these woods. Okay, I hear a noise again. I think we're on the right track. An Easter egg. It is an Easter egg. Oh, I don't like that little tinkling, tickling noise in my ear. Okay, it's tight here. Okay. Tell me it did end, huh? Okay. Not a problem. Yeah, it is an Easter egg. Uh, it might be an Easter egg. I think it's... Oh my god. Don't ask for directions. Gotta itch my ear. Itchy ear. You get the feels, my dude. Right? Um, okay. Back on the path. It's gotten quiet, so that means in sound design that something spooky is going to happen pretty soon. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. This is the cool. creepy twit sculpture. It, it's also like the Blair Witch uh, project, right? Spooky dooky, my dude. Okay. Sandwich. Hey there, Mr. Deer. Oh no. You remind me of a dream I had. Don't, 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 don't. Why are we doing this? Why did we turn the light off? That was fucking creepy. I thought. I thought we were like. I don't like the decorator. I'm sorry, but this is like. Like, what, 60s style? I'm sorry, am I gonna get, like, jump scared because I don't like their interior decoration? <sighs> I feel like that uh, this is the combination of the safe. Where you sleep is the two triangles facing, e uh, facing off, right? What papers? Papers, please. Let's just be warning you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano, or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if something else, something less natural and more man-made, intentional? I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, uh-oh, government here, uh, they're in the big house by the lake preparing. I know it. First drawing line, water line. Real caldera is made from a volcano. Lava. Second drawing, water line. Engineered structure. Strange machines? Question. Strange machines? Row, row. Where you need a sandwich, right? Where you keep a sandwich, right? Where you sleep. I haven't forgotten about that. We'll get there eventually. Ah, uh, of course. Wash your hands. Alright, take a nap. It is certainly this one. Sandwich. Oh, what the f fuck balls. Where you wash your hands? Okay. One more and then we get some more ammo that is desperately needed. Where you wash your hands. Okay. Got that. Uh, up down, up down, up down, up down, and making sure it's time. Up down time. Up down time. Up down time. Up down. Up down. What? Up down. Up down. Uh huh. Excuse me. Wash your hands. Take the. Yeah. You know what? I am losing my mind here. to the lake. Ladle, ladle witch. Witch lake, ladle. Gonna get scared.
down here. I think we're in the right place. Oh, yeah, we're in the right place. the ammo anyway. Oh, this is not how the story goes, okay? Tell me how the story goes. We're on the right path. We just ran out of ammo. Back to the loading from hell. I think we're close to the portal, though. Yeah, we'll get there. Am I right? If it loads, I mean. Just checking stuff. Load down. You got this. <whistles> Boop. I got a little trigger happy. So if we run out of bullets, we're going to run to the light. Seems like uh, the right answer. <laughs> now, in the first Alan Wake, the light would stun them. Okay? It's a little inconvenient, but my lady of the boss. Yeah, always look for the signs. Doing pretty good. I think we're still doing good. I think after we finish this chapter, it's gonna be uh, night night. It's been a long day, but it's getting lost. This is confusing. Back. Can we not back? We go the wrong way. I get lost a lot. That's that's. Don't forget to save often. Thank you. Which is hut. We're gonna save there. La, la, la. Yeah. 
opposite way. Opposite way than we need to go. But that's okay. <laughs> I believe it's down here. These woods do tend to look quite alike. I think we're in the Time right to tie up loose ends on the case board. Been too convenient. Uh, There's the sign with the witch. Is it here? Sure. Let's give it a shot. She seemed eager. Let's give it to her. Let's go ahead. Step right up. You got this. I believe in you. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. I feel like there's something. The overlap. Are you still on your way? He can't Casey! Hear you. Casey, do you read me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Freaky. Mom. Logan? Mom, help. Logan! I, it's a trap! Where are you? It's a flat pedestrian. That? Rogan's back in Virginia. Yeah. You're imagining things. You are. It's okay. I am too. Come on. Come on. We're in the trees. This is kind of weird. See tree structures like that. Would you please help me? Okay, sure. What was that? Are you a Jedi? Wait, did I get turned around? You did. No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. I guess it's here. What do we got here? What's it say? Manuscript page. The writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside, All into right. the lake. Nightingale was there, one of them. The dark presence, Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place, wandering in the shadows, muttering to themselves. It's dark, I'm lost. Where am I? Sentences, my dude. Who am I? 
I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. I said that. Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? I think he you needs must help. dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that. The writer was writing again. Okay. Time to check our mind palace. And the case board. What does it mean? I don't know, my dude. What does it mean? What does anything mean? Okay. Large amount of supplies. Lay it on the table. I don't know. Cult symbol. What kind of cult? Uh, a cult that really likes large amount of things on a table. What are the goals? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Writing part. A ritual. No. Who's involved? Fuck it. I feel like that's optional right now. I can't wait. We're gonna get to the Alan Wake part and I'm gonna be a little bit better at it. And if playing as Alan next, I will play for a bit longer, but if the next chapter is Saga again, I'm gonna call it a night. Because I, I, I like Saga as a character. I think this is the overlap. But <laughs> Try to jump scare me with the ravens. Or the creeps. More red. My god. Really cool. <laughs> Again? Red is the place where we want to go. The more red, the better. Okay. He was. He's here. Very good. Nightingale. He was writing again. The writer. What's in the hall? Trapped here. To escape. Danger. Yes. Thank you, Alan. Who is that? It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. Maybe he's warning us not to go down this hall. Huh. Kinda nifty. Out. Look around. But if I look around again, I'm lost. Set to find the light switch. Show me the clicker. Okay, we'll, we'll get you the clicker. Don't worry. You got a really bad cough, ugly. Nightingale's badge. Okay, badge, first aid. No, no gun, no ammo for me. I thought that's what we're doing, dude. I thought the game was, uh, not going to leave me with three bullets. I'll just shove the Taken. They'll know who's boss. Oh. Okay, Blair Witch. Another dimension. Quite pretty. Is this a subway or are we gonna get hit by a train? Is that gonna be the jump scare train? I'm a 
machine. Yeah, they were right. The machine. It's underground. It's. It, it's there. It's a little claustrophobic, don't you think? Tight. tight. <laughs> to weaken them. Get out of my house! Oh my god. And my next enemy is a load screen. Not a lot of bullets. No, it's not how the story goes. Tell me, Alan. Give me more ammo. Ten bullets might suffice for you, but... I'm sorry. And I didn't really miss a sh I missed one shot. Okay? How far back are we going to load? That's my question. Loading, loading, loading. Get those puppies loading. Loading, 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 hard. All right, there you go. Not too bad. <laughs> Nightingale. Yes. Stuff for us. Right? 
leave us in the lurch. Ten bullets, huh? I figure there's one more of this, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Flood of Darkness hero. No. some running classes, but this dude can catch up to you. You're in trouble. We're in a dead end. Where are they? Oh, God. Show me the t No. This is like Wheel of Fortune. No. No way, Jose. Come on. No terror. No. 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 It's done. Dude, it glitched. It glitched. The fuck. Oh. Oh. Hmm. 
लोग हैं Arg, Arg is right. I got stuck on the chest that was going to give me the ammo. Heh. <laughs> Ironic death. Monkey's paw. Yeah, you have the ammo now, but you can't get out of that spot that you found yourself in. Because all of the ammo is in a dead end area. And we're just gonna glitch it just so where you're stuck you can wait for this gentleman to come and hit you with a tree yes I got hit with a tree we're gonna get hit with a tree again because we have to do this three times <laughs> Nightingale hunted side <laughs> yes he did very good night have, have a good night
gotcha. <laughs> Nightingale hunted So I think the game is telling me that I need to take a break for the night and start fresh some other time. I hope you guys had a great time watching me die and get lost and not understand the clues, but uh, we're getting there. It's a really dark area, okay, my dudes? And uh, there are some glitches, so if you're picking it up, just be aware of that heads up but yeah it's been great talking to you guys i hope you have a great night but i have to head to bed it's been a long night so i hope you have a great night and i will see you next time all right bye bye